Hi, I'm John of John's Carnivorous Plants. This is my indoor nursery, and today we're going to talk about why are plastic pots so widely used for carnivorous plants. In general, it's the norm for uh, most of us in production nurseries here, just because uh, pull one out here. they're lightweight, they're very durable. So a terracotta pot, like they have a risk of if you're storing large amounts of them, they'll end up breaking. They don't really ship too well. <coughs> There's all kinds of other ceramics and whatnot. They just don't really do too well, especially at scale. You can get plastic from an injection molded factory very cheaply. Like for example, I get, you know, I thought I think it's like a thousand pots for 80 bucks. So it's very cheap. For me to buy injection molded plastic oh, excuse me but yeah because of their cheaper lightweight and uh, easy to store in bulk nature that's where they become the de facto use for production facilities uh, it's not as appealing as other potting arrangements but whenever you're working at scale unfortunately for me i can't really dedicate this space to like an individual like beautiful pot for every plant throughout here eventually whenever i get a greenhouse i am going to have a little space where i have like you know a little bit of showier kind of arrangements already pre-made for people to purchase but even then they're difficult to ship to where like it'll arrive to you in a very decent manner because it's like one of those glass orbs and stuff i have to shove that full of stuff and it's just eh, plants get smushed it's it, there's just there's issues I got to work out logistically before I can get there. Now, there is other nurseries who do take that risk and then will go above and beyond to produce that. Like, you know, like an enclosure or something like that and ship them out little terrariums and whatnot. You don't see that too much with the carnivorous plants because of their value at the moment. In that most of those like smaller terrariums with like succulents and whatnot I've seen in like various different grocery stores they tend to be cheaper plants overall. So whenever you have like, you know, a $20, $30 sundew or, you know, a $5, $10 utricularia, even, you know, on the like lower end of things, it's still way more than like the 2 to $3 succulents that you'll see in some of those displays or like the bamboo or, you know, various other tissue culture orchids and whatnot that are very dirt cheap. <sighs> And then plastic also has, ooh, here's another big one from my list of uh, stuff over here on the outline. Plastic has the strong benefit of not leaching into the medium the same way other materials can. And it is a good broad spectrum use for many sensitive plants because of this. Now, there are like things like pinguicula and stuff like that that are very, very sensitive to salts. So certain kinds of unglazed ceramics and stuff like that will cause well have the potential for issues i've been around this debate quite a bit and i'll just say this about terracotta is that while it's not unusable the jury is still out on exactly why it's not an ideal situation my general experience from talking to various other nursery owners and what from what i could tell back in the 70s people used to grow very commonly with terracotta and carnivorous plants and then it's switched over about like it's like 80 ish and ever since then it's kind of been the uh, dominant thing in the industry to use plastic now i've tried to do some tracking down into what exactly is going on with the terracotta i've heard leaching minerals and salts and all these other things however as somebody who knows like my grandma for example ran a ceramic shop the, there's a lot of variables in there from like the kind of you know clay you were using to make you know your pot etc there's many different factors which is why it's like the plastic at least it's uniform it's injection molded it's going to come out pretty much the same every time and what's cool is that because you're usually getting so much bulk uh you're gonna have quite a few of the pots for many many years now is it the most aesthetically pleasing choice no and I do admit that. And I do wish that there was a better one. Like, that's why I think, like, people enjoy, like, the white injection molded pots so much. It's just because, you know, it stands out in the sea of black injection molded potting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. I hope you found it insightful, at least. And I hope you like, subscribe, and I hope to catch you on the next one. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.